Second Ezra chapter 16. Fourteen, behold, the plagues are sent, and shall not return until they come upon the earth. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere actors, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's and people here for a bit. The plagues are set upon the earth. And who is he that may drive them away? Who, who's going to turn it around? <laughs> who, who's going to stop it from happening? No one. Because it's the will of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And these plagues, these different diseases, storms, the economy crashing, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a plague. <laughs> just, just look at everything that's going on, man. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and by the day. That's why that's why the Lord always have us make lessons on just fear. Seek the Lord, repent. I Meaning turn back sorrowful. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans turn back sorrowful for your wrongful thought sins and doings. All of us must do it. It, it. The Lord said, repent, lest ye die. You see? Yeah, it ain't no gray areas. It's just, it's just black and white when it comes to your howl by Shimmy I was shy. You know, looking at the news now, damn, damn, they shooting. Ah, oh, man, it's going, it's going down, man. Seek the Lord, the plagues, man. They're, they're here. And the Lord said, it's, look, plagues throughout the four corners of the earth. No, no way to escape it. Only, only way to escape the plagues is seeking the Lord, man. All right. They controls everything. Let's read that again. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return. You see, you can pray all you want to. You can you can get on your knees until to the, the skin disappear. This shall not return, all right? Until they come upon the earth, they're here now. And you Israelites playing around, playing around. Verse seventeen, Second Ezra sixteen seventeen. What was me destruction? What was me destruction? Who would deliver me from those days? Ezra, Ezra seen the future. Ezra seen these times. Ezra seen, man. Come on, man. We seen so many gremlins yesterday, man. Oh, man. When it go down, it's going to go down. I mean, there's so many homeless people in each state, each city, each country. It's going to be like Demolition Man on steroids. Go watch that movie, Demolition Man. And, and saw what happened when the people that was homeless needed something to eat. So, saw what happened. They was going through stores, through houses. They was going wherever they could to get something to eat. It's, it's bad out here. It's way worse, man. Of course, you're not going to see this on the news. In the news, they're not going to tell you how bad it is in the news because they don't want you to panic. Go to the local downtown areas and see what it look like, man. Let that let you know right there. When, when it pop off, it's really going to pop off, man. Straight up, man. The Lord got sleaze to eat in a trick bag. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. Now, all these things are happening now. But the Lord's going to turn up. This is the beginning of wars. Wars, rumors of wars. And, and, uh, and it all, it's going to get worse. Everything is going to amp up. More fires, more floods. More screaming, more hollering. Look, look at the youth of today. Look, look at how the youth are acting. They, you got the youth, you know what I'm saying, terrorizing the old people, just running up into their buildings. I saw no look, judgment. Man, them spirits are active. That's what the scripture tells us to walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, right? And the powers just stand in fear. The beginning of evils being a bad time, you see. There, there it go. 
but then Babylon still selling you a pipe dream. The, the, the $135 million sweepstakes. When it's all a hoax, man. All right? It's all a hoax, man. The, the dream is turning into a nightmare, which is reality. You see? Everybody trying to live in a fantasy world all these years, but reality is kicking in, man. All right? It's just the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And look, man, it's all these hurricanes and like shit that we're living in this hurricane season, man. It's about to tear these cities up, man. These hurricanes are hurricane. These storms, once again, is a plague. You see? Is this behold famine and plague? Whether it's an organized famine or not, a famine is a famine. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and scourge. It's like a tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute, are sent as whippings. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge. Look, look how bad it's getting. Look how bad it's getting. People getting more wickeder, too. You see? Behold, victuals, meaning food, shall be so good, cheap upon earth. And look, Babylon is not bouncing back. That they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils, meaning bad times, grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish, meaning die of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And these are all the judgments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. These are, these are all the judgments of the Lord. Look, the Lord wrote this to happen. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Let's jump down. Five, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Sword, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, you see. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. <clears throat> Why? Because the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Why do you think it's wicked as hell? Why do you think wickedness is running rampant in the earth? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. You see? Let's see. 14. Woe to the world, destruction to the world, and them that dwell therein. Talking to you people. This is for the sword and the destruction. Draw of night. Was the modern day sword, the gat, the blicky, the stick. And one people should stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. Look at this class wars, civil wars, race wars. It, it, look, it, when it pop off, it's going to pop off this rap. And there should be sedition among men. You're going to have other people exciting other people to go against the government. You got that going on now. That's going on now. And invading one another. You got that going on now, but it's getting ready to turn up. You see? And they should not regard the kings nor princes. Look at these little gremlins running in and out of these different stores. And, and, and just destroying these restaurants and all that, man. It's, it's already lawless already. Oh, yeah. Then they say, you, you can't touch me. You got people just walking out of the damn grocery store, cart full of shit. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. What? That, look, another tall tale sign that Babylon is going down. All right? Babylon is done. It's through. Seek the Lord Israel. This place is through. All right? Look, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's going to make martial law pop off. Everything is going, it's, it's all designed. See? Cre create the problem. You see? What do we say? Um, problem, reaction, solution. Create the problem, see how people are going to react, and then you bring in a solution, which is martial law. Come on, man. We're not ignorant. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, right? It says that man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because martial law going to pop off. That's it's getting ready to happen. You can see it. They're going to lock these damn cities down, man. See? They're going to lock it down, man. <coughs> So like you. Only twerking you gonna do is in your damn house. You see, when they lock it down, they're gonna lock it down. You see? It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. 
the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid, right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. We, we're going to see, see it go down. Lord, when are we of that number to get to see it go down? It's going to really go down. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. The woods walking through the city area, downtown city area yesterday. It ain't no love in the city. If you ain't got no pillow, if you ain't got no water, if you ain't got no place to stay, no one gives a damn, all right? Hello, Israel. No one gives a damn if you live or die. Do you get that? Do you get that, Israel? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil, meaning rob their goods, because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation. So, so nobody ain't going to care about you. You see, the old man, the old lady across the street, the woman across the street, come on, nobody gonna give a damn in that day. It's, it's like that now. 49, I was saying plagues upon thee, widowhood. It's gonna be a whole lot of women without without husbands, without boyfriends, whatever you want to call them, whatever title you have given them. You're you gonna be without them so come. It, it, if you ain't already without them. Poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste their houses with destruction and death. And when these troops start going through the cities, they're going to take whatever they got. Whatever you got, somebody going to take it. And look, and I'm, I'm coming straight out the Bible with it. The pastor, and, and all you church going, you, you plantation Christians, look, man, y'all going to get caught off guard, man. Y'all still think God is love. He's all love. Jeremiah 28 and 8. God of the Bible, he's all love. Ain't, ain't nothing happening when the Lord said, I look, I create peace and I create evil. You, you, what do you mean? So you trying to so you trying to say the Lord ain't balanced? If he's all love, that's that's unjust that's unjust weight right there. You see? It's the Lord that's creating all the storms. You haven't read Isaiah 29 and 6 yet? Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me. And before the old prophesied, they told you what was going to happen before it even happened, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's all you see going on. You see war. You see evil. E-V-I-L. Evil. You see evil and you see pestilence. You see plagues, diseases everywhere, man. Look, and the thing about it, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. I got one more, then I'm gone. I got one more, then I'm gone. And you ain't got to take heed. It's going down any damn way. Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shot in evil. And only evil, meaning bad times, more bad times. Behold, it's come. And you got people still worried about the damn Kardashians. All hell breaking loose. And y'all worried about the damn Kardashians and they fake ass bodies, man. You people are through, man. On to the next. Shalom.